Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to start by recognizing that the minister has been answering questions for many hours now. Mm -hmm. And I respect her and I appreciate her contributions this evening. I'd like to ask you about the greening government strategy with which the minister spoke about earlier. A signature commitment of this strategy is net zero emissions by 2050. Does the minister realize that net zero emissions by 2050 is not equivalent to our Paris commitment to limit global temperature increase to no more than 1.5 degrees C? Good question. The Honourable Minister. So uh, thank you. Thanks. Um, I want to thank the Honourable Member for uh, acknowledging my uh, stamina this evening. <laughs> um, but I also am surrounded by an amazing team. And so I have great gratitude for, for all of those uh, that are here and, as I've said previously, spread out all over in order to assist me this evening. But uh, the work of my team is, is, is just uh, so... I, I'm just so grateful. Um, what I would say is in the answers that I did give previously, I actually stated that, uh, that with the initiatives that we're undertaking, that we're achieving 82% greenhouse gas emission reductions by 2025 and uh, in a very good position to achieve net zero by 2030 for our building portfolio. The Honourable Minister, Minister Member for Kitchener Centre. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd encourage the Minister to look at the science behind the climate crisis and ensure that our government's targets align with that science. This strategy was initiated in 2017 to help the federal government reduce its environmental impact and transition to low-carbon, cl low climate-resilient operations. One year later, though, in 2018, the federal government then purchased the Trans Mountain Pipeline for 4.5 billion dollars. Does the government include the TMX pipeline it purchased in this strategy? Good question. The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, thanks again to the member for the question. With respect to PSPC, I can talk about initiatives that we are undertaking. So in addition to the figures that I have given with respect to uh, what we have done in our strategies with respect to reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, we also are undertaking other efforts, which include uh, procurement practices which prioritize reusable and recyclable products um, and our goal of net zero plastic waste. We're going to continue also to work with our colleagues to introduce a new buy clean strategy and support and prioritize made in Canada low carbon products. Gentleman member for Kitchener Centre. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate that. The fact is that we bought a pipeline. Why is TMX not part of our procurement approach? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, again, I'm here this evening, or Mr. Chair, I'm here this evening to talk about uh, uh, the procurement file. And on the procurement file, I say there's a number of initiatives. I've gone over those initiatives. We absolutely appreciate the crisis that we're in, and we want to, and we have aggressive uh, measures that we are taking in order to meet our commitments, and we're going to continue on that path. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I, I appreciate those, those commitments. The UN Secretary General has made clear that new fossil fuel infrastructure at this point in the climate emergency is moral and economic madness. Yet the Government of Canada now estimates that the Trans Mountain Pipeline and the expansion will cost $21.4 billion dollars including the completion of the expansion of the pipeline. Meanwhile, the minister's mandate uh, letter includes a new buy clean st uh, strategy to support and prioritize the use of made in Canada low carbon products in Canadian infrastructure projects. How does the $21.4 billion spent buying and expanding this pipeline fit into this buy clean strategy? Good question. The Honourable Minister. Uh, again, uh, Mr. Chair, I'm, I've spoken about this evening and gone over a number of times the efforts that we are making in procurement with respect to uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, to ensuring that we are uh, minimizing plastic and waste. And one of the other things I'd like to add is electric vehicles, which we know uh, there's, there's uh, ability for us to act there too. And we are. In the past three years, we've procured 1,187 zero emission and hybrid vehicles, another area where we can show leadership and do our part with respect to meeting targets. The Honourable Minister. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Does the minister see any contradiction between the, the buy clean strategy 
and this government's relentless commitment to its purchase and expansion of the Trans Mountain Pipeline? The Honourable Member. The Honourable Member. Mr. Chair, what I would say is I'm, I'm very happy that we have a buy, a buy clean strategy. And in addition to that, we have a national clean electricity initiative. We have an energy services acquisition program. We have many initiatives that we are undertaking as a government because it's important for us to meet our targets and we want to show uh, leadership in this regard. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In Budget 2022, the federal government announced that Public Services and Procurement Canada will develop new tools, guidelines and targets to support the adoption of green procurement across the federal government. How does the recently announced $10 million loan guarantee for the Trans Mountain Pipeline fight fit into this new commitment? The Honourable Minister. Again, Mr. Uh, Chair, what I would say is that we are focusing on doing what we can in procurement in order to contribute to meeting the targets that are there. This is an all-of-government approach. PSPC has a role to play. I've gone over the numbers with respect to initiatives that we are taking in order to meet our targets, and this work is significant. The Honourable Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I do appreciate the role that PSPC has to play in the work that the Minister is doing in it. My final question, how are we to trust any of these strategies and commitments, though, in light of the reality of, of, of the same commitments to expanding and building the Trans Mountain Pipeline? Thank you. The Honourable Minister. I, I would just I'd put the stat that we have accomplished to date as part of as evidence of the initiatives that we are taking and the progress we are making. So 57.6 uh, reduction in greenhouse gas emissions from our buildings as compared to the baseline laid out in 2005-2006. We're going to continue to work on these and other important initiatives in PSPC in order to re reach the targets. Uh, I think the member would have 20 seconds, so is there any final comment? Uh, I thank you to the minister for her a genuine contribution to this conversation. I'll cede the rest of my time to the member for Courtney Alberni.